Hey, Homestead Prepper. I want to show you guys my cheap, homemade, DIY hydraulic hose crimper. I uh, have incorporated my homemade shop press into it instead of using strain rods, and this simplified the construction quite a bit. The reason I decided to make my own hose crimper is because I have an antique tractor that's 1970, that's 45 years old. There are still quite a few hoses on it that need to be replaced, and if you've gone up to a hydraulic hose company, these things uh, are a little pricey. Yeah, these things are really going bad. I did a video a while back where I had these, I replaced these. I had these made by Amazon in Tampa. They did a really nice job, but it cost $180. I've got, like I said, a bunch of hoses on here. I uh, originally looked at buying a used hose crimping machine off of eBay. They had some for three or $400, but they were off brands and I couldn't find the dies for them. So I nixed that idea. They had some other ones on there that were newer, but you know, they want a thousand or $1,500 for those used. I went to Craigslist. They have the cheapest one I saw on there was a thousand dollars and it did not have the pump. You still have to spend another three, four hundred dollars for the pump. So uh, that's why I decided to make my own. I was talking to an acquaintance of mine, and he said it was dumb to try to get a hose, make your own hose crimper, and make your own hoses when you can go up to Tractor Supply and you can buy a hose like this for twenty dollars, or you can buy a hose like that for twenty-five or thirty. Well. Uh, I agree. If you can get the hoses uh, and you only need a couple, then Tractor Supply is probably a good option. But I have hoses on this machine that are bigger than 3 8 and half inch. Now, they, uh, Tractor Supply does have a 3 quarter inch hose, but it's only rated for 2200 PSI. I have 3 quarter inch hoses on this machine that need to be 3500 PSI. So, you know, guys, do what works for you. The reason, uh, another reason I've got a hose crimper is I, I wanted the ability, you know, if I'm using my tractor, if I'm digging a pond or doing a job for somebody and this thing breaks, then I have to stop what I'm doing, go have a hose made or drive up to tractor supply if they make the right size uh, and do that. Uh, whereas I'm going to be able to just pop my hose off and just go over here and make one on the spot and I'll be up and running in no time. So that's why I did it but that's enough jibber jabber let's uh, let's make a hose all right these are crimp style hoses and these are 3 8 comes with a little thread protector that's falling off these are reusable hose fittings now this might be an option for you too you don't need a hose crimper these things just screw on basically and you tighten them up you have to put some lubrication on them of course and as long as you have hose you can uh, reuse these fittings. Now this is a good option, however, this cost about $2 and this costs about $13 each. So you can see where the savings is going to be if you have a crimper. But if you just need an occasional hose, then this is probably the way to go right here. You could probably still save some money. Uh, the problem is, is when you get into the larger hoses, like you get into three-quarter, I think a, uh, a three-quarter reusable fitting is probably around forty dollars each a one inch is almost a hundred dollars for one of those so if you're doing the larger hoses then I recommend that because a uh, like a one inch crimping style hose I think is only like six or seven bucks so that's where the savings in this guys but you have to determine what works for you I uh, not only do I have a tractor I have uh, several pieces of hydraulic equipment. I'm hoping to add to my arsenal a bucket truck one day too, which is going to require hydraulic hoses. These are some hoses that somebody was throwing out. The uh, ends don't work for me. I have NPT, National Pipe Thread, on my tractor and my equipment is all NPT. But I figured this would make a good test hose. What I did is I put this in here and I just cut it off square. It's lubricated with some oil. If I can hold the camera, we could probably put this on. And I made a mark. There's videos on the proper way to do this, so I'm just going to put this on here for now. Let's see if I can do this. I don't know if 
you can see my little ink mark right there but it went right up to it so all I need to do now is crimp that all right let's see if we can crimp a hose and I recommend that if y'all do this you work at your own risk especially with homemade tools and take all the wear all the proper personal protective equipment okay let's take that off I greased the die and I greased the uh, thing that pushes it down I'm the name of it right now there's a there's a mark right here that's right where we want it on the top of the die a little difficult to see put that on all right we're gonna hold that and we're gonna see if we can crimp it Can keep it in the same spot. I don't know if it's ever going to grab. All right, there we go. Okay, it's grabbing now. Do it nice and slow. And this 30 ton jack makes it real easy. Go nice and slow. All right, we're going to stop it right about there. Set this thing up. Whoops. You saw it on camera, guys. I've never done this before. And that is a crimped hose die. Okay, guys, to, to do this properly, you have to use a micrometer. And there's a chart that's on the internet. For this particular type of fitting oh and also by the way this is a universal hose crimper it doesn't have to be these type of things you can do eaton park or whatever as long as you have the right specs now this particular is a 3 8 fitting this is 3 8 two wire hose it's 100 r to a whatever i don't know what the number is but it's a 4000 psi rated hose and for to for it to be properly crimped it specs out on the flat spots it's supposed to be point 800 and I don't have the third significant figure if you can see that that's specking out to exactly 0 0.80 so this tells me this is properly crimped so the homemade deal was a success okay I sure hope you guys enjoyed this episode of DIY hose crimping if you have anything constructive that you can leave in the comments, it would be greatly appreciated by myself and others. Part two, I'm going to actually take this thing apart and show you how it was put together. So, until then, Homestead Prepper out.